What's up, guys? <laughs> All right. We're here at the 350Z. It's a Wednesday. Um, we're going to replace the headlights, or actually, I think only my, maybe one headlight needs to get replaced. Mm -hmm. So we're going to figure that out. Um, so we're replacing the headlights, and then we're going to up garage to go get the newly used hood. Uh, hopefully, the car doesn't overheat on the way there or explode. Not really sure which one will happen first, <laughs> but we'll see. Let's get started. So we got the headlight installed. Uh, we didn't worry about the second one right now because it's fine and we have places to be. So the plastic cover on the bottom does need to get replaced. It's completely freaking screwed so I duct taped it for now. It should hold for today and be fine. But this headlight works. I had no idea what I was doing. I've never, never done headlights before. I literally just winged it when I saw, you know, the parts. But it's good to go. We're going to go ahead and head up garage and get that bumper. So it's a 45 minute drive. We will see you guys when we get there. <laughs> All right, we made it to Up Garage. <laughs> We're literally in the Up Garage parking lot. There's a bunch of cars everywhere. Uh, we got our new hood right here that we're gonna be putting on. So we're literally about to swap it in the parking lot. We're gonna put you guys on a time lapse and get going, because we need to hurry. So we just finished putting the, the, well, not really new bonnet on. The color difference on this thing is insane. Like, it looks stupid. Like, this is so much darker. It's like this got freaking sun bleached or something for 10 years. That's what it looks like. The old bump, the, the only reason we're changing it is because there was a, there was a, like a, a dent right here, which was causing it to not match up with the fitment. So now, like, you can tell the fitment got better already. And the dent isn't really something I could fix. It was in a very, very hard spot to get to. Almost white. Yeah, it's almost white. <laughs> but yeah, so the dent here was right on the line. And I don't know how to fix that line. But we're going to repaint the car anyway. So I guess right now she's just going to have to be ugly. And we'll fix her later. But we're going to go check the inside of Up Garage since we're here. And then uh, head home. Maybe get some ice cream. Yeah, that too. We're going to sell this one to them maybe get like a thousand two thousand yen and uh call it a day all right guys what's up um so it's been like two weeks since we last recorded the um the bonnet uh, section of this video uh, that bit was a little short so i'm going to be put, um, putting these two videos together um so today i'm actually uh heading over to the gas station I, that i use um, and we're going to be able to jack the car up and get that plastic piece off the bottom of the car. Um, went to the mall after we replaced the bonnet and the plastic, the plastic engine cover underneath the car continues to fall off over and over and over and we have to keep uh, duct taping it uh, back to the bumper. So I'm just going to remove it for now. Um, I ended up losing one of my, my inner, uh, what would, I don't know what they would be called, the fender. It, it, <laughs> it's the plastic piece in front of the wheel that is inside the the wheel well so we ended up losing that um we're not losing it. it it ended up falling off it's actually behind me here in the trunk but it ended up falling off on the highway so i'm gonna see if i can put that back on i have plastic uh plastic clips coming in um from amazon uh, which should get here tomorrow i think so we're gonna try that out to see if we can get that back on because i'd rather have that that cover uh, it's a little bit more of an important one. Keeps mud off your, uh, I think the, the windshield wiper fluid um, system is right there. You have your headlight right there as well. So you really want to keep that area covered. 
uh, the engine cover under the car not so much you don't like I mentioned before you don't actually completely need it but I mean obviously I want one but I'm gonna end up um, keeping it off the car until we uh, can pick up maybe an aluminum one or you know something better something metal um, so I actually got permission from the gas station to do this so I'm just gonna head over there real quick uh, should be pretty easy should take about 10 minutes you know just jack the car up I brought I didn't bring both of my uh, jack stands because why I don't need it just gonna jack stand one side take the cover off and we'll be done be out of there um, oh yeah if you're wondering uh, the old hood sold for 500 yen got a whole 500 yen from it which is just crazy I mean, I know it was dented and all, but they're probably going to sell it for like 3,000, 5,000 yen. <laughs> so, yeah, I was expecting at least like a 1,000 yen from it, despite being broken. I mean, it's not really broken per se, it's just ugly. Let's go ahead and start the car up and then head on over. Here we go. All right, let's head on over. All right, so I made it to the gas station. I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up, put you guys on a time lapse, and get this thing taken off so we can get out of here as quick as possible and not be in anybody's way. Let's go. All right, guys, so we got the plastic cover removed. Um, pretty simple um one of them was kind of hard though because like the plastic cover has these little metal pieces on the bottom that keep it you know, in its shape but due to the crash that metal piece was bent so one of the bolts that i had to get to was kind of like hidden underneath that bent piece so i really had to like tug it and move it out of the way to get down there um but we did it um i got stared at the entire time of course which is no problem a lot of people actually um Give me a thumbs up and just bowed at me because you know i guess just seeing a guy Jean working on a car in the middle of the street i didn't bother going into the actual uh gas station area because there was this there's a street right here where all these cars are parking which you can see like right there we got two more cars parked right right there so i guess the workers park here uh focus please camera so i just parked out here and it worked pretty fine um I mean, like I said, it only took me like, what, 10 minutes to do this? Um, so, the last thing I need to do is, um, well, there's two things, actually. I'm going to replace the other headlight, uh, mainly because th th this headlight, the the right, the one on my left, or the car's right, um, don't really, you know, whatever. I'm sitting in the car right now. On the left headlight, uh, it's actually fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But one of the lights um, in the new headlight is blue, so I'm going to go swap the uh, the entire headlight because I don't feel like swapping a bulb. Plus, the new headlight that I bought is cleaner than the current headlight, so I'm just going to go ahead and swap it. Um, the the headlight that we already replaced, that one um, when we went to the mall, we came back in, uh, came back to the car, and there was condensation inside the headlight, so I'm going to have to take that one back off and inspect it and see uh, where the uh, the seal is broken if there is a seal it might just be um the connections i made might not uh have been good so i'm just going to check all my connections check the seal uh see what's up if the seal is broken i'm probably just going to leave it that way because i really want to spray paint the the inside of the lights black so if the seal is broken i'm just going to take it off um buy some black spray paint and spray paint them both and then reseal them myself because there's no point in resealing it and then unsealing it and then resealing it again again so that might be the next video or the one after that um if i can't figure out but if it's just a bulb i might wait a little bit because i can swap it pretty easily also i apologize i had the car on because it's hot i'm sweating i wanted ac so actually you can probably hear it a little bit but who cares you guys are here for cars you like you like the sound of a car anyways i'm gonna go to the gas station uh, wash my hands off, um, get some gas just so I have some. I'm at half right now, but I like to keep the tank full. Um, I was going to do a car wash, but 
I probably will just wait because it's going to get dirty sitting in my uh, parking spot anyway. So there's no really, there's no point. I'll get a car wash next time I actually go out in the car. So that does it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're still shooting for 100 right now. As of recording this, I'm at 73. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I think we can do it. The next video will probably be headlights or just going to a car meet if the headlights are fine. So stay tuned for that.